For this review we are back to Liebherr to look at a mobile crane model. The box has got a great photo of the crane on it, and if we read the small print this is the LTM 1090 4.2. So it's a 4 axle crane with a maximum capacity of 90 tonnes. Looking at the end of the box we see that this is a WSI model, and this is a limited edition in the colours of King Lifting. Let's get on and open up the box and we can then see what is inside. Out come the usual pair of expanded polystyrene trays, and in the plastic bag is a piece of card which is the instruction manual, or rather it gives you a QR code which you can use to take you to where the instructions are. We see the tray is marked bottom so we're upside down, and a quick bit of wrist action gets the box the right way up. The trays are held together by tape all around so we have to get the sharp knife out, and after we have sliced and diced we can lift the top tray off. Inside the model is protected by clear plastic, and there's also a strip of paper to protect the paintwork from the rope. All that's needed then is a bit of careful lifting work to get the model out. Before we go any further let's take a look at the livery of this model which is King Lifting. King Lifting is an English company which was set up in 1982. It mainly works across the south of England, and it runs a fleet of cranes up to the Liebherr LTM 1750, as well as a fleet of heavy haulage. For the assembly we'll take the model as it comes out of the box and get it ready to run on the road. The counterweight is made up of separate pieces and on this crane you need to take the top piece off because not the full amount can be carried on the middle of the carrier. The remaining slab gets positioned at the rear. The only other thing we need to do is to attach the lattice fly jib and it fits into position on the side of the boom. To keep it firmly in place you can fit a steel pin, although on the review model it wasn't really needed. In the box is a large spooling wheel which could be fitted at the top of the boom, but the real king lifting crane doesn't seem to have it, so we'll leave it off. As usual we'll look at the underneath of the model first, and it has a high quality detailed chassis. All of the many components are finely modelled, and the road tyres look good too. The model looks great in the colours of King Lifting, and the colour scheme sets off the other details such as the beacon lights and door mirrors, and the model also has a realistic number plate. The door has a handle and excellent graphics, and the steps have a textured surface. The wheels also look great in this colour, and the tyres have branding. A highlight of this LTM 1090 model is the very small graphics, and these certainly give a realistic appearance. The high detail continues on to the crane cab, and there are metal grab rails. The detailing behind the crane cab is also really good. There are hoses and other components, and more tiny graphics. The high quality graphics are also on the boom, with the big king lifting logo. The lattice fly chip is a nice metal part with metal pulleys, and maybe only the tiny brass nuts and bolts would have been better in black. The detail in the engine area behind the carrier cab is excellent, there are fine mesh grills and other components modelled, and there are very nice textured surfaces on the carrier deck. The main boom ram has a metal jacket, and it's got King Lifting written on it. And in fact the King Lifting branding goes all the way because it's also on every boom section. There's also a hoist cutoff chain and a metal hook, but not so good is that the multiple sheaves are a single block. An unusual touch on this model reflecting the real crane is that the King Lifting name appears on the top of all of the boom sections. <laughs> For the features we'll start as normal by looking underneath, and the wheels all roll without being particularly free rolling. 
Each axle does have independent steering, so you can set all of the steering modes of the real crane. And if we go out onto the cranes etc test track, it rolls nicely enough in a straight line, but not all of the wheels on the model were fully grounded. Although for practical posing purposes, this is not really an issue. By setting the steering, the crane also follows a very nice curve. We have reviewed this model before in Leap Hair Colours, so if you want to see more about the features, click on the link. But for the rest of this video, we'll just let the crane go to work. This model by WSI is very highly detailed, and it really does look beautiful in the king lifting green colour scheme. The model is also engineered very well, so it's possible to pose the model in very many different realistic ways. Overall this crane model is excellent. Mm -hmm. 